Hey Foothill Church, Katie Boyan here, sending you all a virtual hug from our family to yours. I wanted to share some encouragement today from Isaiah 40, uh, which is a passage in which God is comforting his people who are in exile, the nation of Israel. Uh, I'm sure many of you have read it and are familiar with it, but it is a beautiful passage for the time that we're walking through right now. I encourage you all to go read it and study it on your own because I certainly won't do it justice in two minutes. Um, what I love about this passage is that the way that God chooses to comfort his people who are suffering is by reminding them who he is. And so that's all I wanted to do today is just read um, a few parts of the passage and kind of list off who our God is and give you all something to meditate on this week um, as we try to lift our eyes off of our circumstances and place them on him. So starting in verse 10, um, our God is mighty. Um, he comes with might, it says. Um, verse 12, he measures the water with the hollow of his hand. Um, verse 13, he needs no counsel. Verse 14, uh, he knows the path of justice. Verse 15, the nations are as nothing before him. They are like a drop in the bucket. Uh, he brings rulers to nothing. 26, this is one of my favorites. Um, he calls every star by name. Scientists think that there are more than 450 billion stars. That's just an estimate. And he knows every single one. Not one is lost. Um, verse 27, he is the everlasting God the creator of heaven and earth. And verse 28, he never faints or grows weary. Um, but here is an even more amazing part, that this God who is so great that it is impossible to even describe him in words is also so very near to us. Um, this is one of my favorite verses. In um, verse 11 says that he will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and he will carry them in his bosom and he gently lead those that are with young. Uh, this powerful God gives power to the weak. And that's the end of the chapter that we all know so well. I know that uh, we all feel weak right now and helpless, but he gives us power. He gives us his power. Um, so be encouraged, church. Our great God is more than able to handle a worldwide crisis. And he is also near and walking with us through whatever situations we find ourselves in right now. So my prayer is that he would continue to knit us together in love, even through technology, and that we would continue to set our eyes on him as our only hope. I look forward to continuing to connect with you all um, by social media and all this technology we're figuring out, and um, just praying that we can see each other in real time, face-to-face, -face, very soon.